Elon says 4680 cells are recyclable following Munro's challenge to tear down a structural pack. July 18, 2022. Munro and associates are currently in the process of tearing down a refreshed Model Y with 4680 cells and a structural pack. And in the tear down process, they have found getting to the batteries extremely challenging. This has led some individuals to believe the 4680 cells are non recyclable. However, Elon Musk reassured us that the new cells are indeed recyclable. Currently, Tesla has two versions of the Model Y out on the market. The first version is the one that Tesla has been selling since 2019 and that comes with the last generation 2170 cells. And the second version is the refreshed Model Y with the 4680 cells and a structural battery pack. Tesla first started selling this new version of the Model Y at the Giga Texas opening party back in April. The refreshed Model Y incorporates all the breakthroughs Tesla shared at the company's Battery Day event which together were supposed to amount to a 54% improvement in range. Make the vehicle lighter and improve performance and handling. However, the Model Y AWD Tesla's name for the 4680 Model Y only has a 279 mile EPA range. 5 seconds 0 to 60 time. And a starting price of $61,999. This has caused a lot of confusion amongst the Tesla community. The subpar specs of the refreshed Model Y have even led some people to believe Tesla's battery day presentation was a lie. However, soon after the release of the Model Y AWD, Tesla sent out a letter to employees explaining why the refreshed Model Y despite coming with the 4680 cells and a structural pack has lower range and performance numbers than the Model Y long range with the last generation 2170 cells and non-structural battery pack. According to Tesla the main reason for lower specs is that the Model Y AWD is fitted with a smaller battery pack. This explanation, although it answers some questions regarding the specs of the refreshed Model Y sadly raises even bigger questions. According to the EPA, the Model Y AWD has a fuel economy rating of 123 MP gay miles per gallon equivalent. On its own, this number doesn't mean much however. When we compare it to the Model Y long range, this is where the issues start to crop up. The Model Y long range, with a 330 mile EPA range and a larger battery pack, has a fuel economy rating of 122 MP gay. This is practically equivalent to that of the refreshed Model Y which has a smaller battery pack and a new cell and architecture that was supposed to make the weight of the vehicle even less. So if the 4680 Model Y has significantly more energy-dense cells and a smaller battery pack, why is it not more efficient than Model Y long range? Currently, this is the question going through the minds of Tesla watches. And lucky for us, we won't have to wait long to get the answers to this question as Munro and Associates. The engineering firm headed by Sandy Munro has begun the first teardown of a 4680 Model Y with a structural pack. As of now, the Munro Live YouTube channel has shared three videos showing various aspects of the refreshed Model Y. One exciting tidbit we were able to see is that in the new Model Y the seats get directly installed on the battery pack before being mated to the car. Source reposted and summarized from Tinsai Aragay at Talk News. My take Elon's 4680s are being software constrained right now to avoid the Osborne effect. Wait a while and you will see them at their best.